Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus gathers us this Sunday to celebrate this Holy Mass, so that by listening to God's Word, and by receiving the body and blood of Jesus, we may become faithful disciples of the Lord, and we may be strengthened in our mission, so that we may become less unworthy to partake of the mysteries of God's love. Let us now humbly call to mind our many sins. Let us beg God's forgiveness, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her. All you who love her, exult, exult with her. All you who were mourning over her, oh, that you may suck fully of the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breasts. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over Jerusalem like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings, you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem, you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice and your bodies flourish like the grass. The Lord's power shall be known to his servants. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. joyfully to God, all the earth, sing praise to the glory of his name, proclaim his glorious praise, say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. Blessed be God, who refused me not my prayer or his kindness. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. 
Brothers and sisters, may I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. For neither does circumcision mean anything, nor does uncircumcision, but only a new creation. Peace and mercy be to all who follow this rule and to the Israel of God. From now on, let no one make troubles for me, for I bear the marks of Jesus on my body. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers and sisters. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Let the peace of Christ control your hearts. Let the Word of God dwell in you richly. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, the Lord appointed 72 others whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. Whatever town you enter and they do not receive you, go out into the streets and say, The dust of your town that clings to our feet even that we shake off against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God is at hand. I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom on that day than for that town. The seventy-two returned rejoicing and said, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of the enemy, and not, nothing will harm you. 
Nevertheless, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, just like any good master or teacher or guardian or parent, Jesus gives instructions to his disciples before sending them to mission. And that is what we heard in our gospel this Sunday. Bago isugo ni Jesus ang kanyang mga alagad sa iba't ibang nayon at bayan upang magpahayag ng kanyang salita, nagbigay si Jesus ng malinaw na habilin para sa kanila. At maraming inihabilin si Jesus ano ang dapat nilang dalhin, ano ang hindi, na, hindi nila dapat dalhin, ano ang dapat nilang gawin sa mga lugar na tatanggapin sila, at ano ang dapat nilang gawin kapag hindi naman sila tinanggap. And among the many instructions that Jesus gave to His disciples before sending them to mission, there are two things that are worth reflecting on today. The first is how to deal with failure. Jesus tells his disciples, when they do not welcome you, then shake off the dust off your feet and then move on to the next town or to the, to the next house. By saying this, Jesus is telling his disciples, you will not always be successful in your mission. Huwag ninyong akalain na dahil daladala ninyo ang aking salita, na dahil gagawin ninyo ang mabubuting gawa, tatanggapin kayo saan man kayo pumunta. Mabibigo din kayo. May mga hindi rin tatanggap sa inyo. May mga lugar na ipagtatabuyan kayo. You will not be always successful in your mission. There will be people who will not accept you. And there will be people who will even drive you out of their towns because they do not want to listen to you. Isang napakahalagang aral kung paanong tumanggap sa pagkatalo at pagkabigo. At sinasabi ni Jesus sa kanyang mga alagad, kapag nangyari ito, huwag kayong masiraan ng loob, huwag kayong mawalan ng pag-asa, Wag susuko agad at titigil na magpatuloy sa susunod na bahay, magpatuloy sa susunod na lugar. Isang pagkabigo ay hindi katapusan ng lahat. Magpatuloy pa din. Jesus is teaching His disciples that in the face of defeat and failure, when discouragements and frustrations come, and they will surely come, let these not dampen your spirit. Let these not rob you of hope. Continue on. Move forward. Continue the mission. Mga minamahal na kapatid, napakahalagang aral nito bilang mga alagad ni Jesus at para sa ating buhay. Bahagi ng ating buhay ang pagkabigo at pagkatalo. Sa ating buhay, hindi palaging panalo 
at dapat nating tanggapin ang katotohanan na iyan. Dapat din nating ituro sa ating mga anak, sa ating mga kabataan, kung papaanong tumanggap ng pagkabigo at pagkatalo. Mahalaga na hikayatin natin ang ating mga anak at ang mga kabataan na pagsikapan yung pinakamabuti. May mga estudyante dito, mahalaga na pagsikapan na makakuha ng mataas na grade, na makapasa, na magawa ang pinakamabuti, pinakamaganda. Pero dapat may puwang sa ating buhay ang pagtanggap kung ang dumating man ay pagkabigo at pagkatalo. We must learn how to handle failures, defeats, discouragements, and frustrations in life because they are part of life. Kapag hindi tayo marunong tumanggap ng pagkabigo, baka simpleng pagkatalo lang, masisira na ang lahat, madidepress na tayo, o yung iba pa nga humahantong sa pagkitil sa sariling buhay dahil hindi matanggap ang mga pagkabigo at pagkatalong dumarating. Do we know how to handle failures and defeat? Do we know how to deal with them? Marunong ba tayo na humarap sa katotohan ng ito ng buhay? Baka naman simpleng bagay lamang ay nawawalan na kaagad tayo ng pag-asa. Yung mga kabataan baka hindi lang pinansin ng crush o binasted lang. Gumuho na ang buong buhay. Ayaw nang magpatuloy sa buhay. Baka simpleng discouragement lang. Hindi ka lang pinakinggan. Hindi lang nangyari yung pinaplano mo. Ay ayaw mo nang magpatuloy. Kapag dumarating ang pagkabigo, pag dumarating ang mga pagkatalo sa buhay, huwag mawawalan ng pag-asa. Huwag masisiraan ng loob. Marami pang ibang pagkakataon, marami pang ibang biyaya, magpatuloy lamang. Continue on, move forward to your mission, and one day God will also give you success. But Jesus did not only teach His disciples how to handle failures. Like a good teacher, Jesus also taught His disciples how to face success. Hindi naman lahat sa buhay pagkabigo. Dumarating din ang tagumpay. At mahalaga sa atin bilang mga Kristiyano at tagasunod na Jesus na marunong humarap sa tagumpay sa buhay. After the 72 disciples did their mission, they returned to Jesus rejoicing at nag-report nag sila kay Jesus. Tuwang-tuwa sila sa, dahil sabi nila, nakita namin na kahit yung masasamang espiritu ay sumusunod sa amin dahil sa iyong pangalan. Natuwa sila. Parang sinasabi nila kay Jesus, Lord, successful ang mission natin. Successful ang ipinagawa mo sa amin. Pero anong sabi ni Jesus sa kanila? Do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you. But rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Huwag kayong maging masaya dahil sumusunod ang masasamang espiritu sa inyo. Ang ikasaya ninyo ay dahil naging tapat kayo sa ipinagagawa sa inyo ng Diyos ang inyong mga pangalan ay nakalista na sa langit. How do you handle success? You handle success not by praising yourself, not by saying, 
I am successful because I am good. No, you are successful because God is good. Pag nagtatagumpay, huwag mong sabihin na nangyari yung aking pinaplano, naging matagumpay ang aking buhay dahil makapangyarihan ako, nagagawa ko ang lahat ng gusto ko. Dahil ang katotohanan, nagagawa mo ang lahat ng gusto mo dahil sa Diyos. Ang Diyos ang makapangyarihan, hindi ikaw. Ang Diyos ang may gawa ng yung tagumpay, hindi ikaw. At magtatagumpay ka lamang kung nakikiayon ka sa kalooban ng Diyos. How do you handle success? With humility, with gratitude, with thanksgiving in our hearts. Sa harap ng tagumpay, magalak, hindi dahil sa ating sarili, kundi dahil sa Diyos. This is the invitation of our first reading today from the book of the prophet Isaiah. To rejoice in the Lord because the Lord works through His servants. Kumikilos ang Diyos sa pamamagitan ng Kanyang mga lingkod. And St. Paul in our second reading today tells us that if we have to boast, we should only boast in the cross of Jesus. Walang ibang dapat ipagyabang kundi ang krus ni Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, do we know how to handle success? May mga tao na kapag nagtatagumpay, lumalaki ang ulo, yumayabang, nagmamataas, akala mo kung sino na. Sa harap ng tagumpay, ang paanyaya sa atin, mag pakumbaba, tumanaw ng utang na loob, magpasalamat dahil ang tagumpay mo ay hindi dahil sa iyo. Ang tagumpay mo ay dahil nakaayon ka sa kalooban ng Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, in failure, let us not be discouraged. Let us not lose hope. Let us not give up. Continue on. Move forward. And in the face of success, be humble. Be grateful. Say thank you to God. Tanggapin ang pagkabigo ng may pag-asa at harapin ang tagumpay nang may pagpapakumbaba. If we learn this, then we truly know how to live. If we learn this important lesson of discipleship, then we truly become authentic followers of Jesus. Please all stand. Let us all together profess our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator, Creator of, of heaven, heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, Christ His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. 
When we see our Master sending out His disciples as apostles of peace, our hearts are moved to pray for the elusive gift for which nations and people yearn, true and lasting peace. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For pastors and people who reconcile and unite, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For true peacemakers to lead the nations of this troubled earth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For anxious and weary people who cannot rest or sleep, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For harmony and tolerance in our family circles, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the repose of the souls of our departed relatives and friends, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers. And let us also pray for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Father and Creator, your Son is our peace. Hear our prayers as we prepare to offer his reconciling sacrifice. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, He humbled Himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, He freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, He gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Stand. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Thomas, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things. 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
please stand let us pray grant we pray o lord that having been replenished by such great gifts we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pagdalo sa ating misa ngayong linggong ito. Maraming salamat sa pagpunta sa Manila Cathedral, lalong-lalo na po sa mga mechanical engineering students ng Batangas State University. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpunta at sa ating mga kapatid mula sa Society of Jesus no, from the Arupa International Residence, thank you for joining our Mass this morning. At salamat din po sa lahat ng mga kapatid natin na matyagang nagsisimba dyan sa labas. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpapasensya at sa inyong pagtsatsaga. We also wish to thank our brothers and sisters who are joining the live streaming of this Mass. Gayun din po sa mga kapatid natin na kasama natin sa misang ito sa pamamagitan ng DWIZ, IZTV, maraming salamat po sa inyo. At uh, sa atin pong mga staff at uh, servants ng Manila Cathedral, gayon din po sa nag-provide ng ating sign language interpretation, maraming salamat po sa inyong paglilingkod sa ating badal na misa. At dawa ay pagpalain po ng Panginoon itong bagong linggo na haharapin nating lahat Nawa sa harapan ng mga pagkabigo na darating sa atin, magkaroon tayo ng pag-asa. At sa harap ng tagumpay, magkaroon tayo ng pusong mapagpakumbaba. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you in His kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you now and forever. Amen. May He nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds now and forever. Amen. May He turn your steps towards Himself and show you the path of charity and peace now and forever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.